I don't like fair fights. I like when like the rich kid shows up to school wearing his Intel shirt and somebody else that's much stronger shows up and they got a very similar shirt. It looks like the same thing and then he just beats up the other one. That's the kind of thing I like. That's entertainment. Well, if that's you, then I've got some entertainment for you. Please don't go out and buy a retail copy of Windows because it's going to cost you 10 to 12 times as much as this. This is where I've been getting my Windows keys for the last couple of years right here on whokeys.com. The difference is this is an OEM key so it's tied to the hardware. The other difference is you'll be doing your own tech support here because you don't get the Microsoft tech support but we're building a system and I don't think any of us have ever used Microsoft's tech support so. So right now it's time for the Halloween sale. You know I'm spookier than Halloween so we can do 25% off with the coupon code TS25. For these prices you're seeing on the screen here for Windows 11 we can make it a lot cheaper. You've got Windows 10 Pro, we've got Windows 10 Home, we have Office 2021, 2019, and 2016 here. Putting in coupon code TS25, click apply, and then watch these prices come down. Wonderful. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here, go to your user center, click on my purchase orders, just view keys and codes, and you can just copy and paste your key, hit start, type activate, click on activation settings, paste it in there, click on next, and you will be activated. You know, I never liked how Microsoft has different prices for different people. If you're a home user, you're gonna pay 10 times more than an OEM builder or a corporation or something like that. And that's why I like heading to places like whokeys.com to get the OEM keys so I can pay a price that makes sense. So thanks to them for sponsoring and now to our regularly scheduled program. This is the Geekcom Mini IT13. And this has an Intel i9. This Intel, it's got an i7. Why? Why would I put these two together? Like, why would I compare the the i9 to the i7? What I'm comparing right now is price. And it's still not even fair because Geekcom is cheaper, faster, and better. One other thing to make the price even better, it's Geekcom's 20th anniversary. So happy 20th anniversary, Geekcom. They've given us a $40 off coupon code to celebrate. So you can use that on either their website or on Amazon. That information is all going to be in the description. So you get 40 bucks off using coupon code Tech Syndicate. Again, check the description for all the details. But yeah, it's an even better price now, thanks to their 20th uh, anniversary. So cheers. I'm not just gonna go through and say, don't buy an Intel NUC. I'm gonna tell you to completely replace the future of your brain that used to have NUCs that lived in it in the future of your offices and homes. Replace it with this. And you know, Intel's kind of phasing out their NUCs and a lot of people are like, what are we gonna replace the NUC with? What are we gonna have? What's our next upgrade gonna be? Maybe like this unit right here from Geekcom. It still is gonna serve the same functions as the NUC. And you can even mount this on, you know, the back of your monitor or if you have a display unit or something, you can mount it on the back of that. If you're just gonna be running menus and stuff, get a Raspberry Pi. But if you want something that can handle 4K video editing, then that's when you get the Geekcom. Now, I'm not gonna go through the entire review view of the Geekcom, I've already done that. And if you want to see exactly what the Geekcom can do, plus see a 16 inch portable monitor that's 16 by 10, not 16 by nine, that's 1920 by 1200 instead of 1920 by you know 1080, which is much better for productivity in my opinion, you should go watch that video. And that's going to be in, in the description. I'll talk just about the Geekcom. But right here, I just want to show you the benchmarks between these two systems that are similar yet the Geekcom is faster. First off, the specs of the two. The Geekcom that we have here has the i9-13900H, and it's also got 32 gigabytes of RAM and a two terabyte SSD. That's the price. I found this Intel on Amazon. Right here it is, 2023 model. Yeah, one terabyte instead of a two terabyte. Still got 32 gigabytes of memory, but it's running an i7-13600P. Uh, Still a good CPU, but look at the price. And now again, all the specs are better all of the specs, pretty much everything down the list. It's just <laughs> pretty much all better. The USB on the Intel, it's USB 3.2. USB over here, USB 4. Pretty much everything is better on the Geekcom. Do not cry for Intel, they're still getting their beak wet. They've got an Intel processor on the inside of the Geekcom. All right, now let's take a look at some benchmarks. We're gonna compare and contrast the two of these. All right, Cinebench R23. The left is the Geekcom, the right is the Intel. All right, when it comes to Geekbench, the Intel does have very good single core performance. For a small machine like this, if you're gonna be multitasking, the multi-core score is the most important. And as you can see there, the i9 is a little bit stronger when it comes to multi-core. It's not much, but that's enough that you'll notice a tiny difference. So in you know programs that only use a single core, maybe you'll notice a little difference on the Intel, but now they both have the Iris XE graphics. But as you can see over here with the Geekcom, that is quite a bit more uh, power that we have going to this. I'm doing OpenGL for this test. 
So really, there's not much else to say other than the fact that just this just checks all the boxes all the way down the list. It's faster. I, I love playing games on this, like emulators and stuff. Put RetroArch on here, but you can also do, like I said, 4K editing. You know, and a lot of the stuff that you're going to do with this, it's going to need that multi-core performance. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to mention. Check out it right here on the side. That is an SD card slot. Okay, so we have an SD card slot over here. And on the Intel, it's just nothing. All that space on both sides right there on the Intel. There's no SD card slot on this. So that's an extra little bonus you get with the Geekcom. If you're a photographer, videographer, you just want to transfer stuff back and forth, that SD card slot can uh, really come in handy. Otherwise, the units are both relatively cool and quiet because they're low power. So you're not going to be going crazy with your power bill or anything. You know, I don't even know why I've, I've made this whole long video. It's all I should have done was just say, like, listen, hold, hold on with your Intel. This is virtually the same case, except it has that SD card slot, USB 4, better features. Um, it runs a little bit faster. It's got the i9 and it's substantially less expensive. The end of the video, that's all it should have been. But instead you got this whole thing. So yeah, enjoy. All right, I'll see you everybody in the comments. Let me know what you think of this. Are you ready to switch away from the NUX? I mean, you're gonna have to soon since the NUX are being phased out, but is this what you're gonna be phasing to? If you got a company and you're ordering a whole smattering of these, let me know. We've got a link down in the description so you can get yours at the best price. Make sure you get it there. Anyway, I'll see everybody in the comments. This is the Geekcom Mini IT uh, 13. This is the.